<laughs> Hi, everybody. I'm Erica. Welcome back to Beyond the Color. I have here today Miss Bree Jones here. <laughs> How you doing? Hi. I'm so excited to get to know who you are and what about you and your group and the battle squads and all that stuff. So just tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay. Well, I'm Bree Jones. Um, head coach for Dynamic Angels Dance Team in Richmond, Virginia. It's a competitive yeah. dance team made up of I'm from Virginia. <laughs> I'm actually yeah. from Norfolk, Virginia. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we, um, we travel and compete, um, participate in community events, parades. Um, the dance team is made up of 74 dancers. We have both male and female. Okay. And they're from 5 to 18. Oh, wow, um, five? You guys start them young. Yeah, mm hmm So mm -hmm. once they hit over the age of 18, um, if they're not going into the college um, into the college scene, some of them are going into different aspects of dance, whether it's just, you know, dance schooling or performing um, locally and nationally. So they all right. go into different genres and different um, avenues of dance. But it's, right. it's fun. It's fun and it's very rewarding, and the girls work hard. <laughs> Right, well, that's good. So what made you get into this dance? Okay, well, I've been a dancer since I was five. Um, I started out with African dance and then going into hip hop and jazz, contemporary, and I kept going from there. So right. I, was, um, I was a dancer all through all through high school and I coached my high school team for two years afterwards while I did nursing school. And at the same time, I kind of figured I wanted to continue with them, but they wanted right. a teacher in the school to be the coach. Mm -hmm. So I decided to start my own team from there. Right. And from there, it just kind of took off. I had no idea from the time I started it that it would be what it is today. Right, right. Well, that's amazing. I've actually been doing dance since I was around the same age. Like my mom has always put us in dance. So I've been doing jazz, ballet, tap, hip hop, everything. And that's kind of also why I want to like get to know more about like these like battle squads and stuff like that. Like I hear you mention something about you were on like the African dance team. Like I never huh? did anything like that. And I think that that's so cool. Like could you elaborate a little bit more about that? Yeah. So starting out with African dance, I actually think it was a great, a great start out dance. Um, it's high energy. Constant movement. So right, as, you right. learn, as you start to learn different other genres and styles of dance, it all kind of goes hand in hand. I also taught gymnastics for four years and oh, I also wow. was a leader. So when you get down to the basics of it, all of it kind of right. goes hand in hand. Yep. Mm -hmm. So, I'll so what's like, like, gymnastics just has the event. Right. Just the yelling, and it all boils down to that common ground of dance. Right. So it's pretty cool and it, and it helps me a lot. Just having those different avenues and having those different backgrounds, it helps me when I'm teaching the girls because if I right. need to back handspring, I can do that. Right, right. <laughs> I need to do a split or something. You got it. Right, <laughs> right, right. It's fun. it's fun and it gives you so much to kind of teach them and give them to hold on to. So if they go to college and they dance in, you know, a dance line or even if they right. just want a dance company, they yeah. have all of that background. They're just well-rounded to help them. Yes, absolutely. So it's, it's fun. I love it. So would you say that, um, you said that you coach Dynamic Angels, is it what they're called? Dynamic, Dynamic Angels. Dynamic Angels. So make sure you guys go and follow her. I am Coach Bree on Instagram. She teaches Dynamic <laughs> Angels. So would you say that um, you guys have like a variety of dance, like between hip hop, ballet, like everything? We do, we do. And most of the competitions that we do have different categories. So okay. we may have a pom pom category, which we can incorporate dance and cheer, and we can actually okay. have within it. We have um, hip hop categories, we have um, creative dance. Creative dance is where it gets kind of fun. I always laugh and say that's my least favorite category, right. just because it's so much within five to eight minutes on the floor. Right. So that's you have your props, and you can pick your different things. So it's so many different categories, but having those backgrounds and teaching the girls those type of backgrounds, they can do anything. So they can right. switch from cheerleading and pom poms to back to you know hip hop dance. They can be creative, right. which is a little bit of Indian everything. So <laughs> it's fun. And then just like you got into talking about battle squad, we have the stand battle portion.
portion of our competitions and that's the most intense and like the, the part of the competition that everybody looks forward to. Right, so right, right. You have one dance team across from another dance team and it's toe to toe on the dance floor. And that's like everybody's favorite part of the competition. Right. Well, I'm actually next week, if you are up to it, I would love for you to teach me some routine or something like that so I can try to learn and do it. Yes. So look out for that, guys. I will be learning one of these routines for the battle squad. <laughs> <laughs> Look, maybe maybe if we feeling a little frisky, I can teach you a little flag routine. <laughs> or oh, maybe a little song. Right. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> that's a that's a little advanced. <laughs> right, that's a little advanced. And how does it feel to be like a such an important figure in the performing arts? Like you're black and you're in the performance art and you're a coach at that. We don't have a lot of coaches, black coaches in, in general, I wanna say in the performing arts, I wanna feel like, you know what I'm saying? How do you feel being one of those and then having so much success with that as well? It's pressure. I it's love pressure. it. I love it, but it's so much pressure because constantly something new coming out. The girls are learning different tricks and different stuff that we didn't even think about. Right. When, you know, when I was competing. So right. it's always a challenge of staying on top and thinking of the next best thing and the next thing that's gonna wow the judges that they haven't right. seen before. So it's challenging, but it, it's fun at the same time. And I, I love being able to see them grow. I have a dancer now at North Carolina a t on the dance line. I have okay. another dancer who's going for Norfolk State, one okay. for Virginia State. So it's that's awesome. Fun. It's fun to see them grow. And that dancer in particular, I had her with me since she was 12. So wow. she's now, yep, she's now going on going on 18 and she's in college. She's dancing, she's doing what she is. Well, that's good. Is, she's inspiring to be a top-notch choreographer. And she definitely has the skills and right. the mindset to do it. So right. it's exciting to see them grow from being you know, young kids to growing up to being these beautiful young ladies and actually accomplishing their goals. Right. So it's very rewarding. It's rewarding, challenging, and, and a lot of pressure. <laughs> right, right. That's definitely, I understand that. Well, thank you so much for your time. I'm excited to learn this Battle Squad dance that we're going to do next week. But thank you, thank you, thank you so much for premiering on Beyond the Color. <laughs> Thanks for having me. And I no cannot problem. Wait. I'll get ready. She's going to be All right. right. No, get ready. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna be ready. <laughs> but you enjoy the rest of your day. You as well. Bye. 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 Bye.